of Mark Holmes. I have no idea who Mark Holmes is. Okay? <laughs> I mean, that's right. Xander just said it. Do you think Mark Holmes, the son of John Holmes, has ever had Stephen Jones on four times on his show? Who in the world is Mark Holmes? Will somebody please tell me? My new way, King Dick back here. And so before we start this video, I got to get this mother humping thing out of the way. Mark Holmes is my daddy. What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, of course, with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies. You know that this literally does not work. You know, um, I'm, I, I come here every morning. I, I am actually very, very blessed. I've got my studio here at the Red Brick House. So when I'm down here taking care of business, um, I can do what I do back at home. And at home, I've got my indoor studio that I've built over the course of many, many years and um, have basically my own broadcasting studio. Now, again, I am not a, a journalist. I did not go to school for journalism. I did not play in the NFL. I did play college football and stuff. I am Joe the fan. I am Joe the fan that enjoys talking about the Cowboys. And this is what is known as new media. New media is the change, the evolution of everything. When people think about businesses that were always considered, you know, staples, staples that would never, you know, multi-billion dollar businesses that we always think about, you know, they, 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 they're, they're always going to be there. You see the evolution and how the dynamics change. And I always tell people that you must evolve or you become like a dinosaur. And because YouTube, from when I started um, doing this, really getting into it more and more, back in 2016, it was basically, uh, when, when you think about Cowboys content creators, of course, it was Shango, who's the godfather of it all. There was myself, there was Law Nation, there was Vash Lombardi. The Cowboys hadn't even had a YouTube channel. And most media personalities and things would look at YouTubers and it's like, uh, you know, it's YouTube, you know, they're nothing. And there's been kind of this backlash now that things have evolved from when I was growing up. The only sports news you had was, you know, five minutes on the 11 o'clock news or, you know, five minutes on the six o'clock news of your local team. And that evolved into the George Michaels sports machine, which eventually it became ESPN. Well, ESPN has become not as watchable as it used to be. The dynamics of sitting around and watching a show like First Take or Undisputed for two, two and a half hours, most people are too busy in life. You know, whether you are working your regular job or you're doing DoorDash and you only have a few minutes the ease of having everything right here in your fingertips, I don't want to go through the whole minutia of, you know, two hours of a show to get 10 minutes on my team. Or if it's the Cowboys, it'll be 30 minutes on your team. So the market has changed, especially now that you have TikTok and YouTube shorts and Instagram where everybody is just like swipe, 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 swipe. They want their stuff right now. They also want to be catered to exactly what they're looking for. I don't care about the Jets. I don't care about the Giants. I, I just want my Cowboys stuff. And you want to get more micro-targeted to the personality that you can make a connection with. And I'm sorry that this has taken a while to get to the actual point here, but we see this changing right in front of us. Right now... If you watch NFL uh, Network, you know, I actually watch, like sometimes when I'm up here working and things, I'll have the TV on more of background noise and things of the shows and um, NFL Network Studios, which were doing the morning show, were in New York. They're moving to California. 
Don't know if that is a cost-saving move to kind of consolidate or not. But the market has changed. And the NFL Network has just announced that they're parting ways with Andrew, Andrew Ciliano, who you know, has been you know, a, a standard bearer of NFL news forever, forever, uh, along with Melissa Stark, James Palmer, and Will Selva. These are the big names that they have. Of course, they're going to be the lion's share of the cost and things. And we've seen for years ESPN blend, bleeding, getting rid of the talent that they have and bringing in lesser uh, people. This is literally, if you want me to equate it, think about how you had border books and all the bookstores that were there. Think about when you used to have Earl's and Blockbuster Video. And then it went to from DVD, excuse me, v, VCA, VHS tapes to DVDs to then Netflix. Netflix got you. Netflix got you, you know, Netflix and chill. Now, the scary part is this. This is the scary part. Is when something new comes in, when something new comes in, they end up being cheaper. Okay, and this is what any good drug dealer does. He gets you hooked. He gets you hooked. And once you're hooked, they can charge you anything. If you notice, when Netflix first came out with new, you know, programming of their own and everything else, oh man, it was dirt cheap. And now it seems like on a regular, now all of the apps that we get and everything else, they're going up. And instead of you having cable, we've all cut the cable. Oh, I've got YouTube TV. Yeah, but now i got to have Apple TV, and now i got to have Netflix, and i got to have Hulu and this, that, and the other. Although, I, I just have me. I just have YouTube TV. And I'm extremely happy with it because there's not that much stuff that I watch. I get the NFL Network. I get my Sunday ticket. You know, I get my sports fix. It does have my local news on it. You know, it's got my River Monsters when I want to watch it. I'm good. I'm good. I don't need everything else. Um, and I can take it wherever I go. But some people, well, you know, they've got to have their HBO Max and this, that, and the other. And so by the time you end up getting all these things that you used to get from cable, they cost you more. So look for your streaming platforms, your YouTubes and things like that, that have been getting you hooked in. Eventually, once you're hooked, they will start costing you more. So watch out for the DoorDash and all that kind of stuff. Because remember, when it used to be Lyft and Uber were really, really cheap. And then they put, out, put the taxi people out of business and then the prices went up. Yeah, it's all part of the business. But honestly, though, um, the fact that I am, again, I'm Joe the Fan. We get accused of basically broadcasting from our mama's basement. Well, maybe it's not so bad because people are watching us from our mama's basement. And you don't necessarily have to have a degree in journalism to be in front of the camera. And instead of having a studio, a huge studio, um, executive staff and all these people doing the lighting and everything else, you can downsize a whole lot more, put out a product that people want to see for less. And that's what I always say. If you do not evolve, if you do not change, you get to be boring and monotonous and people figure out how to do what you do cheaper and better. And that's the evolution. So constantly, if you take anything else away from here, anything else understand that you may be doing great with exactly what you're doing it may have made you famous but guess what if you don't go to the next step the next level the evolution of it you're going to be old school you're going to be a landline telephone or an AOL account oh wait I still have an AOL account all right good people I got to get up on the road and do some work and things. And tonight we'll be on Cowboys Cave. And I appreciate you guys being part of new media, which is evolving and changing what we all do.